Hey there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about confidence. This is something I get asked about a lot. Have you always been confident? Were you born with it? How are you so comfortable putting yourself out there and doing video on YouTube and TikTok? And the answer is no, I haven't always been confident. I remember five years ago, someone suggested that I should start a YouTube channel and I was petrified at that idea. I couldn't imagine myself doing video and putting myself out there and what other people would think of me. I was scared to use my voice and I cared too much about what other people thought. Even growing up, I was a pretty quiet kid. I'm the youngest of four children. I would just look at my siblings growing up and follow them around. Confidence is something I definitely developed over time. And when people ask me where my confidence comes from, I always say I get it from my mama. Mama lie. <laughs> Honestly though, I know having a strong female presence in my life growing up made a big difference. My mom has always role modeled what self-acceptance looks like. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how to have more confidence and things that have helped me. And the way I'm going to do that is share a story from my past when I went from having no self-confidence to more self-confidence in myself and then I'll extract some lessons out from that. I love sharing stories. One way to inspire people to stand tall in who they are is just to share my life. I'm gonna show a story, but before that though, what is confidence? I looked this up online, dictionary.com says, confidence is full trust, belief in the powers, trustworthiness, or relatability of a person. Confidence is the belief in oneself and one's powers and abilities. So that's one definition. I also looked at urbandictionary.com, gotta have backup. They said confidence is having the ability to walk through a hallway full of people and not caring what they think. Yeah, that's some confidence. Take whatever definition you want. For me, confidence is standing tall in who you are. It's being comfortable in your own skin and knowing yourself. Okay, so that's the definition. Now on to the story of how I gained confidence. I'm gonna bring it back to my college days and my late teens and early 20s. My second year of college or university was really challenging for me. In college, you're learning a lot. Your body's changing. You're potentially living away from your parents for the first time. You're really discovering who you are. In my second year, I went through a sophomore slump where I was not happy in who I was. I had body image issues and I thought nothing I did was good enough. I was constantly comparing myself to my friends. And I wasn't confident in my own body. Our bodies changed in our teenage years and 20s. I was just dealing with the hormonal changes. <laughs> I developed some restrictive eating habits that weren't healthy, lost a lot of weight. It just wasn't good. And I remember my friends would call me out on it. I was going through this downward cycle. Maybe you might be able to relate if you've had body image issues. I know a lot of females have in the past, but I had really low self-confidence. I think what I was doing to myself on the outside was a reflection of what was going on on the inside. And I just wasn't happy in who I was. I knew that I needed a change of scenery. I decided to study abroad in Hong Kong my junior year of college. And I was pretty excited about that to go somewhere else and have an international experience. I'm Chinese American and my mom's from Hong Kong so I was excited to learn more about the culture. Also, they speak English there so I thought it'd be a good balance because I don't speak Chinese that well. So I was going to Hong Kong with very low self-esteem. And in my opinion, in Hong Kong, I could have really gone down this downward spiral because Asian culture tells you that you're never good enough. You're never smart enough, pretty enough, skinny enough, whatever. Like you, you just don't measure up. And that's what I was feeling before studying abroad. I felt like I wasn't good enough. In stepping outside my comfort zone, I really discovered who I was and became comfortable in my own skin. It's kind of hard to put into words. I lived in a dormitory floor with local and exchange students. And there I learned that you being yourself is the greatest gift because I'm very different than Chinese culture. I'm pretty loud. I'm more outspoken. I don't really say face that much. I remember sitting in the floor pantry room. I would have conversations with the locals, exchange students. People started opening up and sharing their life with me, sharing really deep things. And just me stepping outside of my comfort zone, being in a culture that was so the opposite of who I am, I was able to discover who I am. In Hong Kong, I realized that you being yourself is the greatest testimony, it's the greatest gift, and don't try and be anyone you're not. I realized it's because I was myself and I was different, that's why I was able to connect with people. People differ but everyone recognizes when someone takes the time to listen to them and someone has a heart and is just present. So I really realized that there. Basically, when I was in an environment that I could have potentially spiraled downhill and I just gained confidence in who I was. And sometimes you have these moments in life, you realize they're very pivotal. Hong Kong was that for me. I just accepted myself and said, this is the way God made me. I'm not gonna try and be anyone else. I'm able to connect with people because I am different and because I am myself. Yeah, that's how I went from having like no confidence to more confidence. It's really funny, when I came back to the US after studying abroad, people noticed a difference in me. They said, you have a lot more life in you and there's something different in your spirit. I 
was able to gain that because I stepped outside my comfort zone. So that's my story on how I gained confidence. Now I'm gonna share three practical tips from that. One, confidence is about accepting who you are. It's about accepting your past and it's having a deep acceptance of yourself. Confidence isn't about being the loudest person in the room. Oftentimes they say the loudest person in the room is the most insecure. And you don't have to be loud or outspoken to be confident. It's just about being yourself and not being apologetic for that. Sometimes when you're in an unfamiliar environment and around people that aren't like you, that's when you dig deep and discover who you really are. My entire life, I never really felt like I fit in. I'm Chinese American, but I'm super tall. I'm 5'10", but I didn't grow up around Chinese people. I grew up in the Bay Area in a very diverse environment. I grew up in a black church and in high school, I went to a primarily white high school in a privileged area. In middle school, I went to an all Chinese school. I always felt like I never fit in. I wasn't Chinese enough or white enough or whatever you just gotta accept yourself sometimes and realizing that you're not meant to fit in because God made you unique for a reason all right lesson number two sometimes you have to step outside your comfort zone to discover who you are when you're in your comfort zone things can be a bit too familiar when you stretch yourself though that's when you really develop skills and grow my mom always told me that she was okay for children experience hardship because she wanted us to have a backbone sometimes it's through those challenges and overcoming them that you develop confidence i've grown the most in my life when i stepped outside my comfort zone hong kong was the first time i studied abroad i also worked in london for a year more recently i moved from san francisco to hawaii and i've been documenting that on tiktok when you're in a place where you don't know anyone and all familiar things aren't there anymore you either sink or swim and for me, I fight. It's through the challenges that you can really begin to see who you are inside and is your foundation strong. And if it's not strong, it's during those tough times you develop that strength of character. I, no one likes hard times, but if you persevere and get through them, your confidence can definitely grow. I would definitely say being resilient gives you a confidence and strength of character. Lesson number three on how to develop confidence is take the small step. Confidence is something that builds on itself. It doesn't magically appear overnight. It comes through doing the inner work. For example, I have journaled since I was seven years old. Most weeks I've journaled and done the inner work and that's where my confidence comes from. It comes from knowing that I put in the work to do reflections. It's come from journaling. I spent time self-reflecting, thinking about who I am. Even in being a content creator and doing videos, it didn't happen overnight. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned how I was so scared to do videos five years ago. I didn't suddenly pop up and say, oh, I'm gonna do TikTok or YouTube now. It was a very steady process. I found my voice because I'd always journaled and I'd always written letters to my friends, but I was too scared to even publish an update on Facebook. I would do really small steps like writing a blog for myself. And I would write a blog and share it with a few friends. And then I would write a blog and share it publicly. And even with video, I started small with, hey, doing an Instagram story to share with a few people. Okay, that went pretty well. Now let me do a video and send it to a friend. Okay, now let me post a video on Instagram. Okay, now let me do a YouTube video with Mama Lai. All right, now I'm gonna start TikTok. All right, now I'm gonna do YouTube. So it was a series of consecutive events and it's in that process that I gained confidence. I was creating content when no one was watching anything. I would put so much effort into creating videos with my mom or writing a blog entry. That's when my confidence grew, when I was doing things in the dark that prepared me for when I was in the light. So even on TikTok, as I have an audience now, I'm ready and I'm confident because I know I've put in the work to be a better storyteller, to be a better content creator. And I'm still growing, but I have confidence because I know I've done the work that's needed. Not only putting in the hours, but also the reflections and the mental work and everything. So confidence comes from taking small steps and building habits. Even now as I'm a content marketing coach, I go to client proposal meetings and I show them my frameworks, my methodology of creating content and building an online brand. And I'm confident in that because I spent years creating content. I worked in Silicon Valley for 10 years and I was a marketer. I know my frameworks are solid and I've done the work. I know I'm not just giving people a PowerPoint presentation that's fluff, but I've actually built my own online brand through story and being real and that's why I can help someone else do it. So yeah, confidence, a lot of it is putting in the repetitions as well. All right, so that's my story and advice on how I became confident. Would love to hear what resonated with you. Let me know in the comments of what's helped you gain confidence in your life, what area you're looking for more confidence, etc. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, stand tall on who you are.